So we've got a swag tent by Outhouse, Australian style heavy canvas shelter. Um, weighs in at over 8 kilograms, not something you're going to carry backpacking, but I'm only uh, 100 metres from the cart, so not too difficult to carry this over. And as you'll see, really easy to put up. Three hoops, different sizes, smallest one at the back, biggest one at the front. Then just two pegs on each end. So it takes very little time to set up. And just have a look at the features on it now. We've got quite a bit of Velcro.
Everything about it seems heavy duty and robust. We've got mesh in there. Again, Velcro all in place. This handy little mat is attached to it so you don't get your knees wet. You can see something which is very different to most of the tents that we review. This swag tent comes with a four or five centimetre foam mat inside already. So there's no need for any extra padding down there. So although it is heavier and bulkier than some of the smaller tents, the lighter weight tents, it comes with a basically a footprint in foam for the whole width of it and looking at the size of it I think these are sold as a one slash two person tent so there's no rolling off your sleeping mat during the night so inside we've got Decent head height compared to a bivvy or hooped bivvy because that's essentially what it is a heavy duty hooped bivvy. Got plenty of length, um, plenty of room down by my feet. You can see down there. Feet are nowhere near the end. Loads of space. We've got a vent down at the bottom. Um, I'll just have a look at opening that up. Inside we've got mesh all the way over, and that's because we can actually open the top. We've got some useful pockets on the side. On the other side too, not sure if you can see them with the light. Some useful pockets on this side as well. So we've got mesh across the front door. That fastens with Velcro along the bottom. So this being constructed from quite heavy materials, what you actually get is a build-up of heat on, on the inside. You can feel it after only being in there for a minute or two. So this, the mesh is essential, especially on a warmer night. On a colder night, then you'll probably appreciate that build-up of heat. So, and the other features of these tents, because they're generally designed for warmer climates. <laughs> you can open the top up, roll it back, and you've just got the mesh. So that'll let a lot of the heat escape. Down at the back where the carry strap is, also got another vent. Quite essential to have some airflow through the tent, otherwise you'll get a build-up of moisture. So even if you've got the top completely covered up, uh, you're probably best leaving 
at least this small vent open and possibly some of the front as well. So part of the versatility of this tent, as well as having a front door, you can also get in through the top. Right, time for a snack and a cup of tea. I was looking for a happy medium. Um, I realised I could peg out the front door or flap so that I don't have wind blowing directly through the tent, through the mesh. There'll just be a slight breeze get through. Okay, time to light the fire. And I'm using some Vango Bioethanol fuel gel. Basically, an alcohol based gel. That gives off fumes straight away. You can also use it as a hand sanitizer. Got anything? Nope. There we go. It's a mystery to me. We have agreed, which we have agreed.
time for a cuppa and some breakfast. So, first night in a swag tent, um, I have to say it was comfortable, it was nice to be able to change sleeping positions and know that the whole floor was covered in the mattress. I didn't put anything down um, underneath the mattress or on top, just my sleeping bag. And I think the temperature got down to about 3 or 4 last night and it was adequate. You could feel the warmth coming back from it. I knew the weather forecast <coughs> was um, pretty decent for this morning, so I just left my boots out on the front mat, left my rucksack out on the side mat. And had a pretty good night's sleep. I had a vivid dream about camping, <coughs> camping right in a city centre and uh, well let's say some nasty things went on and I think it reflects what I've been seeing on the news. And that slept really well. So let's see how long it takes to put one of these away. <laughs> <laughs> 